Hi, this is Bastian, and today I'm going to annotate the game played against the old Indian attack. So, the game started out with um, knight f3, knight to f6, g3, d5, and d3. And when we see d5, d3, then knight f6, knight to f3, then the opening is the old Indian attack. Um, White followed through with um, g3 to Fianchetto. So, by transposition, uh, we have are seeing the old Indian attack appear on the board. I continue with knight to c6, and white plays h4. Now, h4 is a committing move because it creates a hole on uh, the g4 square where I can develop my own bishop and it's difficult to chase it away with pawns uh, because the f2 pawn is blocked by the knight on f3 also if this pawn moves we can see that uh, white's king becomes unsafe and even if it castles kingside uh, there will be a hole on uh, the diagonal so I continue with e5 so we're seeing a very Typical development by black, taking control of the center and developing both knights. White plays a3, a prophylactic move to prevent a knight or a bishop jump to uh, b4. Bishop to g4, taking advantage of um, the hole on g4. White plays knight to d2, protecting his knight on f3. And I play queen to d7, and the reason why is that I would like to castle queenside. White plays b4, so we can see that white is anticipating my castling queenside and is already preparing a pawn storm. I castle queenside. And now white starts his attack with b5, attacking my knight on c6. Now this knight is used to protect the pawn on e5, which is under attack by the knight on f3. So I play knight to d4. We are counterattacking the pawn on b5. However, our pawn on e5 has become unprotected, and we haven't exchanged the knight yet. So. White takes the pawn, attacking the bishop and the queen. And we can see that already um, White may uh, exchange his knight against the bishop pair. Because of course I will need to move my queen. Now, if queen recaptures the pawn on b5 immediately, because um, my bishop is protected by the knight, we can see the point behind white's attack. Because if knight takes bishop and knight recaptures, then simply e3 creates a double attack and black will be down a minor piece. So we can't recapture the pawn immediately. So I play queen to f5 attacking, counterattacking the knight on e5 but we can now see that our pawn on f7 uh, has become unprotected so knight takes pawn forking both rooks I play rook to e8 and now we can see there's a lot of pressure on um, the pawn on e2 but of course uh, it's possible for a white to grab one of my rooks but at this point I am uh, ignoring white's attack completely and concentrating on an attack of my own so let's say if knight would capture um, the rook on h8 then I can play and this is just one example knight takes pawn opening up the king on the e-file if bishop 
if say a random movie is played like A4, I can play knight to c3, check, and white will lose his queen. So that's just one example. If bishop recaptures, bishop recaptures, and we have an attack on the queen. So queen recaptures, rook recaptures with check, king recaptures, and queen to e5, and we can get our rook back on a1. So, um, the attack on the rook should be ignored, and we should concentrate on our own attack. So instead of grabbing the rook, white plays f3 instead. And this does two things. It um, counterattacks uh, the bishop on uh, g4, but it also blocks um, the threat of the bishop on the e2 square. So at this point there are only two pieces attacking the weakened pawn on e2 with three defenders. White has gained tempo with his attack on the bishop. I play bishop to c5, once again ignoring the attack on my bishop. So now there are two pieces under attack. If knight takes rook at this point, let's say knight takes, I can play queen takes pawn. And of course the pawn cannot be recaptured because of the discovered check with the rook. And now we have one, two, three, four pieces attacking the weak pawn on e2. So let's say if a random uh, move is played, like a4, I can play queen to g3 checkmate. So that's the main threat. If knight to b3 is played to allow for um, the king to escape, I can play knight takes pawn, attacking the weak pawn on e2. Bishop recaptures, rook recaptures check, queen recaptures, queen recaptures mate. It's just an example to show how weak white is in this position. So, at this point, once again, there is no threat of white grabbing the rook on h8. The bishop is captured instead, again gaining tempo with uh, an attack on the queen. Knight uh, recaptures. And now we are threatening mate with um, queen to f2. We can also see there is an attack on um, the knight on f7, so we can recapture it if we want to uh, do so. Knight to e4, again a move with two purposes. It covers uh, the mate square on f2, but it also blocks um, the rook on e8. And of course this knight can be um, retaken, but white is running out of options fast. So pawn takes, uh, our rook on e8 is still blocked, so the diagonal isn't open. Bishop to um, e3, again covering uh, the square on f2 against mate, and allowing for an escape for the king. Pawn takes, now the rook uh, on e8 is on a half open file. This bishop is under attack. I still have an attack on the knight, and white can still capture my rook on h8, but he simply doesn't have the time to do so. If knight takes is played at this point, I can play queen to f2 check, bishop recaptures, and knight f3 is a checkmate. So once again it's not possible for white um, to grab the rook. This wasn't played, so queen takes pawn was played instead. Um, white is opening up more and more squares to um, flee with this king. Knight takes pawn uh, check with a fork. Discovered attack on the queen. 
king goes to um, d2. Of course, the queen cannot recapture because of um, I can recapture with my queen. Rook to d8. Again, ignoring the attack of um, the knight on f7. And now, of course, white will lose his queen. So, knight takes my rook on d8, but I only need one rook. Rook takes. King takes knight, rook takes queen, pawn recaptures, knight takes bishop, check, king goes to d2, and queen to f2, and we are approaching the end game, and I have a queen, as opposed to white uh, having a rook, and white has a lost game. So, bishop to e2 to block the check. Knight to d5, covering escape squares on e3 and c3, and also looking to replace the knight with the bishop, with bishop to e3, check, which will allow perhaps a free piece. Rook to um, c1, attacking the bishop, check, king goes to d1, bishop takes rook, bishop to um, g4 check, king moves, king grabs the bishop, and at this point white decided to resign. Um, it's impossible for white to hang on to his pieces, so a possible continuation could have been queen takes pawn, threatening the pawn and the bishop, uh, bishop f5 perhaps, protecting uh, the pawn, Queen to f4 check and white will lose another minor piece. So it's uh, useless for white to continue playing. So that was a game um, against the old Indian attack and a game in which I um, ignored most of my opponent's attacks in order um, to attack myself. So I hope you enjoyed watching this game. Uh, please leave a comment and have a great evening.